Hey everyone, welcome to Nims Choco Fantasy. Today I'll be sharing with you all a Middle Eastern dessert called kunafa, which is made with spun pastry soaked in a sweet sugar-based syrup layered with cheese. I couldn't get my hands on spun pastry, which is typically used for this dessert, but recently when I saw this kunafa vermicelli, I thought to give it a try with this. They feel like the normal vermicelli. but this one is very thin just like strands of hair for this take 250 grams of kunafa vermicelli crush it into small pieces my bowl was small so i transferred it into a bigger bowl now add 100 grams of melted unsalted butter little by little mixing in between so as to coat all the vermicelli with this butter Once done, keep it aside. Now we will make the filling. For this, take two tablespoon corn flour and two tablespoon sugar. To this, add one cup of milk. Little at first, mix well. Then add rest of the milk. If you add the whole milk in one go, then there are chances of getting lumps in the mixture. Once the mixture is ready. Keep it in low flame, whisking continuously. When it's slightly thick, add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk well and switch off the flame. To this, add one sixty grams of cream cheese. Whisk well. With the heat of the mixture, the cream cheese will melt. While I am doing this, if you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever I upload a new video. By now, the cream cheese is all melted into the mixture. This is the thickness we are looking for. Look at the consistency. This is how it should be. Neither too thick nor too thin. Keep this aside. Now we will start assembling the kunafa. For this, take a heavy bottomed vessel. Here I am taking this pan. Butter it and spread half of the kunafa vermicelli in the bottom. Press it well using a bowl which has a flat surface. Here I am making this kunafa on stove top. You can bake this in an oven too. For this use a baking tin instead of this pan. You can see I have used only half of the vermicelli. Now on top of this we will put the filling. Make sure not to spread the filling towards the sides. We don't want the filling to touch the side of the pan. Now put the remaining vermicelli start from the sides first press it very gently we don't want the filling to ooze out now put the vermicelli on the top also and cover the entire filling Now cover this and let it cook in low flame. In the meantime, we will make the sugar syrup. For this, take one third cup of sugar, add one third cup of water in this, and let it boil. To this, you can add rose water or cardamom powder just to flavor it. Once the sugar is dissolved, switch off the flame and keep it aside. Check on the kunafa in between. When you see slight color change on the sides, 
switch off the flame take a big plate slightly grease it with butter we are going to flip the kunafa onto the plate we have to cook the other side so gently slide this onto the same pan switch on the flame keep it in low and let this side also cook well if you are baking this in an oven you can skip this step once done take it out on a serving dish now pour the flavored sugar syrup all over this decorate it with some chopped pistachios pour less sugar syrup if you want your kunafa to be less sweet that's it our kunafa is ready now let me show you how it is looking from inside when i cut through this i could hear the crunch I wanted my kunafa to be less sweet so I added less sugar syrup and this was really perfect for my taste. How can I describe this dessert? Mm, it's like a soft, sweet and cheesy goodness covered in a crispy golden crust. It's like nothing you will have ever tasted before and trust me guys, you won't be able to stop in just one bite. It's that addictive. If you try this dessert let me know how you liked it I would be happy to see your feedback So that's it guys hope you liked today's video see you again in the next video with more yummy recipes till then bye bye